Rub up your engines! In my usual quest to help people out fixing their cars, maintaining them, I'm going to show you a bunch of products that I tried out that actually work. And in honesty, no one is paying me. I bought these products, I tried them out. If they work, I show you that they work. I've been a mechanic for 53 years. Hey, I like helping people out. So, I'm going to show you stuff that'll save you money, make your car look better, and you don't have to spend too much money doing it either. Now, with summer coming on, maybe your air conditioning isn't working right. All cars' air conditionings leak a little bit of refrigerant. They have to leak refrigerant by design because here's an AC compressor. As it spins, it compresses the refrigerant. There's a seal inside here where the shaft goes to make it compress the refrigerant. That's why it's called an AC compressor. Now, inside your air conditioning system, there's refrigerant and refrigerant oil. Now, the oil has to lubricate the seal that's on that shaft and the compressor as it spins around. If that seal was a perfect seal, it wouldn't allow any of the oil to lubricate the whole seal, especially the front part, then the seal would quickly burn out and all the refrigerant would leak out. So, all cars leak a little bit of refrigerant over time and a little AC oil and the oil lubricates the seal. Now, in the case of this matrix, it took 15 years before I had to add anything. It was still blowing cold until after 15 years it lost about half of its load. So, I had to fill it back up again. If you go to mechanics, they'll try to sell you thousands of dollars of stuff or they might charge you two, three hundred dollars to fill it up. You can easily do it yourself. This particular one is an auto zone. It doesn't matter what kind you buy, but you really got to buy one that's got the gauge on it. You want it all the pressures you can see. If it's in the blue, you add it until it's in the green. You don't want it in the red, that's too much. You can easily attach it to your system. It goes on the low side in this case. This is the low side line, it just snaps right on there. Now, if you get confused, this has L for low side. If yours doesn't, it doesn't matter. This is the low side, this is the high side. They have different fittings. If you try putting this on the high side, instead of the low side, it won't fit because it's a different size. It'll only fit on the low side. And you just open it up when it's on, and you wash the pressure gauge. Turn the AC on, wait till it gets into the green, and then it's full and it'll blow cold. And of course, it works if you're low on refrigerant because it fills it up. Lots of stuff can go wrong with AC systems. That's why you got to have one of these cans that has the gauge. If you get one without a gauge and you start adding it, you might add too much and the whole system could blow up. With this, you don't have to worry about it. If it starts to get in the red, you just turn it off. And if it's not blowing cold and it's in the red, you got a different problem. You're going to either have to see a mechanic or watch a bunch of my other videos that show you how you can diagnose and fix your AC system. But these things actually work. There's nothing wrong with them. As long as you follow the directions or watch my video where I show you how to actually use the whole thing, they work perfectly fine. I filled my sons up when I was in Rhode Island because I don't have my equipment there. And uh, it worked perfectly fine. It took five minutes. They are going to charge them 200 bucks at the dealer to fill it up. They said, if it's low, but we have to check it out first. And they had a $100 checkout fee. So, you can do this stuff yourself. It really works. Now, you might wonder what the heck this thing is, but it is a lifesaver if you've got one of those stupid cars that has the canister filter where you got to take the plastic canister off, take the filter off, put it back in and screw it on. This bypasses it. It's a company called Baxter Performance. They make them for various vehicles. So instead of messing with the old filter, that plastic canister crap, you take it off, this screws in place of it, then you have a normal filter that goes on and you buy just a normal filter. And to really make it an interesting invention, check it out. Look, there's a Schrader valve here. So what you can do is, before you change it, you know, when you take your filter off, the oil goes all over the place, you make a mess, you put air pump on here, you pump air in and it pushes all the oil and the oil filter back into the bottom of the engine where it drains out there and doesn't make a mess. These guys thought of everything. Not only you're not going to have that plastic crap with a little air pressure, you can even use a bicycle pump. You're going to push all the oil that's in here back into the engine where it's drained when you open the drain plug and you won't have to deal with a mess when you take your filter off. It's pretty smart guys at Baxter Performance, I gotta say. You can see it's solid steel. Beautiful strong O-rings. Stuff will last a lifetime. I like that plastic crap that they make some of them with. So if you got one of those with a stupid plastic canister, you gotta take apart, change the filter, buy one of these, you'll never have to deal with that crap ever again. All I have to say is 
thank goodness most car manufacturers have given up with that stupid crap. The only difference between this and the other one is the filters inside. This has a little bit of metal on the outside. Yeah, big amount of pollution, right? That's what they're trying to say. We're stopping pollution. It's green. Green BS. These work better, easier to change out. And with this, you're not even going to have a mess because you can pump the oil back in the engine before you change it. Pretty smart guys. So the next thing that I checked out I like is this cool headband that's LED. Totally hands-free and it doesn't fall off. It's got lithium-ion batteries so you can recharge them. You can adjust it to fit any head, any helmet, whatever you want. And of course, like everything else, it does all kinds of stuff. You can have real bright ones. You can have less bright ones. You can have a little front one that's bright and then make it even brighter. The main thing is it fits on your head. You can see it wherever you're going. And if you want to pinpoint, then you just push the thing on the side and you turn it into one flashlight or one that's not quite as bright. It really is handy for working. You don't have to worry about it, it falls. You don't stick it in the right place. You can't see and then it slips. This thing's rubber. Once it's there, it's not going to fall off. You can put it on your hat, on a helmet, whatever you want. You know, this would be great for spelunkers if you're into cave exploration, you know. And I do have to say, I've been using this for a while. It's still shining pretty good. I haven't even recharged it. It's got a pretty good life on it, like everything else. It just charges with your cell phone C cable. It's a five volt, so you can charge. You don't need special equipment. You already got all that crap lying around. If there's one thing I can't stand about people that make things like this, is they'll have a unique charging system that nobody else uses. Then you lose a stupid thing. And then what do you do with this? You throw it away because you can't recharge it. This is just the universal C. Use it on your cell phones charge this up to so and in an emergency it's a little power supply you could do some last second charging of your phone if you're stuck somewhere like in the bottom of a cave although you might have get reception down there now the next thing i'm going to talk about are custom floor mats that's what i got in here and there's a funny story behind this i ordered a set for this matrix right and then about three days later the company says oh do you want to try out our mats for your matrix well two days later i got these mats and then a couple days after that, I got another set. So now I have two sets. This 3D company, hey, they make pretty good mats. Look how it fits perfectly. You want to clean it? Look. Da, 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 da. Take it out, hose it down. It's nice, solid. And look, it's got Velcro. So it sticks to the floor and doesn't move. Very easy to put it back in. And check it out when it's in it's not moving around i hate it when you're sitting and the mats move all over the place look at these things they're in there they're not going anywhere the dirt will stay down here instead of your wife yelling at you you don't clean it off and all you do is pick it up whack it and put it back in again it's pretty easy to clean and this is just some cheap crappy system look at the back mats the back mats are not just these mats but they also go over the hump the whole side they are full mats no more oh the kids scuffed the middle up and it all got stained it covers the whole thing and it's molded there's dirt under there but you can't see that so i'll hide that so she doesn't know it's there <laughs> they are nice mats i gotta say and hilariously enough i now have two sets of them talk about fate being a few days off you know <laughs> now let's see your car needs a little touch-up paint this automotive touch-up company, I gotta say, makes the best system. You want to do it correctly. Their paint matches. This is base coat color, and you can see it says Toyota 8Q5. And as you can see in the driver's door, and what does it say? See it's her color, 8Q5. That's how you figure it out. Now this matrix might be 15 years old, but this paint still matches perfectly. And of course, you buy the clear coat too, because understand one thing about car paint. Color is hiding under here. This is a clear coat. You paint it with a base color, and of course the same company also makes a clear coat. Then after it dries for a few hours, you clear coat it, and then it still looks shiny. This is the part I deal over here when people scraped it, it came out pretty good. And truth be told, I'm one of the worst painters. If you're really exact, you can do a good job when you have the right color paint, and do it right. Plus they give you all kinds of tips on how to do it. They have whole kits where you can buff everything down, they sell you all the chemicals. Forget those little lipstick paint touch-ups they look like crap they just are bloppy they stick up the only way you're going to match paint and make it look good is by spraying it on there's no way out of that and this company makes pretty good stuff now this fuel treatment at ats bernie and albuquerque new mexico it actually does work i've been trying it out for quite some time now 
I just got a couple of emails from viewers and they agreed entirely. You just pour it in a gas tank. And after treating it, one guy went another 29 miles on three quarters of a tank of gas and the other one went 35 miles further on a full tank of gas. 12 and a half gallons in his car. It actually does work. You pour it in, it cleans. Bernie and his partner, hey, they know what they're doing. They've used the Sandia National Laboratory supercomputer to figure out what kind of carbon builds up in the car engines, how to clean it off the most efficiently. And they sell that stuff. I'm, I'm amazed because all the other cleaners are using that nitrogen-based cleaner. This isn't. It's a completely different design. And I gotta say, the stuff works. I mean, I'm not saying you necessarily need cleaning. I mean, take this matrix, okay? It still gets the factory gas module. When I'm taking a trip, I probably get 32 miles a gallon on the highway. That's what it's always gotten. It still does, so, hey, I'm not gonna put any cleaner in. It works perfectly fine. But if your car's off a little bit, maybe your gas module's down a little, it could be carboning up. This will clean the carbon out of the system. And nobody likes dirty cars. So, about a year and a half ago, I bought this Bauer Shop Vac. Now it was a replacement for my old Sears Vac that got lost when I moved from Houston to Clarksville, right? So I thought, what the heck? I want the Harbor Freight tool, bought this thing. It didn't cost much, and it certainly worked flawless so far. I decided to go for a smaller one. My Sears one was bigger. It was kind of cumbersome. This isn't the smallest one. It's the medium size, and hey, it gets to where you're going, and it doesn't get in the way. It's certainly powerful enough, and as you can see, it's got a decent filter on it so you don't get the pollution everywhere. And it certainly holds it up. Oh, gee. I just wonder what happened to that pen. And yeah, I'm old school. My stuff plugs in. I don't go for that battery operated crap. At the time when you're in the middle of doing it, the battery goes dead. The plug in ones last forever. That Sears one I had for over 30 something years. It's a real handy size. And the wife doesn't gripe that it takes up too much space. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk about, if the mockingbird won't shut up, is this Rain-X waterless cleaning. And as usual, I buy the stuff. They're not paid to advertise. I just find it's probably the best one out there on the market. This is a 16 year old car. It still shines good. You keep it in your trunk. When birds poop, you can clean it off right away and then buff it up. Realize that bird poop is acidic. You leave it on, it's gonna eat a hole in your paint. You got a bunch of bird poop, you clean it off, you can see a bunch of dots all over your paint. Put a bottle of it in your trunk. I got a bottle in the trunk of all my cars. Now, they tell me, I think it's kind of crazy, but in Asia, a lot of people live in apartments, they have no place to wash their car. They'll actually wash their entire car with this. I'll go around and it's doable if you want to go that far, you know? <laughs> me, I ever use regular car wash to clean all kinds of spots and leave it in your trunk. Hey, and if you're as conscientious as those Asian people, you could clean your own car if you wanted to. And since it's rain -X, it's a car wash and a rain repellent. You can do your windshields with it too, so it doubles as not only windshield cleaner, but it makes rain repellent. A lot of times we're driving this matrix, drives my wife nuts. I won't turn the wipers on. To turn the wipers on so I can see, it's not raining hard and it just all beads up and blows the wind when you're going 60 miles an hour. And it's a tendency to drive in here crazy. I think it's funny, but it actually works. In a pinch, if you're in a little bit of rain and your wipers aren't working right, just let it bead up and you can see quite well for driving down the road. I've done that many a time, <laughs> much to my wife's dismay. So now you know about some things that actually work on your cars. You got a company? Feel free to send me whatever you got. I'll try it out, honestly. Don't ask me what my advertising rates are, though, because I don't have any advertising rates. My advertising rate is honesty. Make a good product, I'll talk about it, especially if it's one made in the United States, like the Baxter stuff is. Hey, I'm all for it. I know it costs a fortune to advertise products. I have seen excellent products in the last 53 years of being a mechanic that failed because they didn't have an advertising budget. And I've seen crappy stuff like sea foam that people sell the heck out of and this stuff doesn't even work on modern cars. So, you got anything, send it. I'd love to try it out. Just be forewarned, if it really stinks, it might go on one of my videos of products not to buy. So, don't send me any garbage. Or, if you got some really garbage stuff, send them to me. And it'll make a funny video when I make a compilation of things you should never buy. <laughs> so if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.